This first one is our Drake Mallard. We carved it. it she actually carved it. There is her signature, but it was carved in 2015. And uh, this particular guy has been to China twice, I believe, besides the time that it uh, actually got done. So we call this one the D1 uh, Drake Mallard. Uh, the only reason we it, we have two drakes in a hand and when during the carving process we were getting it confused as to which decoy we were talking about so we called this one d1 the other one d2 so as you can see though uh, lots of feather detail in this guy lots 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 more than what a normal hunting decoy would be and uh most of these hunting decoys especially on the drakes guys will uh take and uh they will uh take bondo and put on the outside and take this comb and like carve those z looking things in the side i've never really liked that all that much so we didn't do that but you can see there is a super amount of detail in here and uh, the, you know, the carving, the paint job is amazing. Uh, the keel, you notice our keel is a little different than everybody else's. For one, we've got our name there with our logo. And for two, we don't have those little hook things that everybody puts on the bottom. And uh, the reason why we don't is... I don't really know what they're for. I guess people have said that you use them to shorten your line up, but I really don't have never done that. Uh, I really know nobody that ever has done that, that, that I uh, hunt with. And all I've ever found was those little notches and things is a place we use uh, like a Texas rig or a Carolina rig, and I mean, they're just that mono or, or uh, PVC coated cable. Um, that's what we use, and they'll get caught in here, and then it tangles up all your decoys. So I would take a wire cutters and cut them off uh, so that it wouldn't get so it wouldn't get caught. So I figured, as long as I'm cutting them off, why even put them on? Because they make no sense to me. So we've got a round front. You can hook your weight here, you can hook your weight here, or there's one in the back side if some of you guys like to hook them up backwards. So there's three points that you can hook them into. Um, the curls are non-hookable, like some of them will have a hook here and your decoy line hooks in it. Um, purposely made so that there really isn't any edges that decoy lines can get hooked on um at least not to some extent i mean it, it probably can get hooked on there a little bit but it's not going to like some of the decoys i have have a hook here and it'll fall in between these two and you can't get it out so we eliminated that but this is our d1 drake mallard and he is pretty sweet really um, very very happy with this so we'll go to our D2 Drake Mallard. It's more of a resting style head. He's a little wider in the body, um, but looks great. Uh, the paint job is, again, very, very nice. Uh, it's EVA plastic, so it's, you know, it's got the flex, flexible, pliable doesn't break we've run these through all sorts of testing same thing same keel same exact keel as the other one all of, all of them have the same keel but uh it is a super super i mean Lori did an amazing job on these things and then uh the manufacturer painted them uh 
almost a carbon copy of what of how she painted them so they are amazing really um so that's our d2 guy and uh he uh, he turned out real well. Now this last one, and then this guy was carved. This guy was carved in 2018, so you, there was a three-year gap between that first Drake and the second one, and then this hen that we carved. Now she's a little unique. Uh, I think she looks a little different than everybody else's hen mallard, and I like that. Um, there is a lot of detail. Lori did an amazing, amazing job painting this thing, I think. And they, uh, the factory did a great job duplicating her, her paint job. So uh, originally when she carved this, she carved the feather detail just like these drakes. You know, it's got the, 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 the feather detail in there, like thick feathers. And then we're like, well... You know, reinventing the wheel doesn't usually, um, we've done it before and it doesn't usually, uh, not that it doesn't work, it's just a much longer, harder process than than what other people are doing. So on the hen, after she carved it, I'm like, man, I think we ought to recess those feathers in there. And uh, so Lori... Uh, begrudgingly did it. She didn't really want to do it, but she did. And Lori has a very, like she looks at a piece of wood and she can see the finished product. I look at a piece of wood and I see, you know, some s'mores. Maybe we could throw it in the fireplace and cook some s'mores out on the fire pit. But she can see the finished product. And so she did all these feather details that she carved in there and I got it back and I absolutely hated it it uh I I told Nate I'm like we're not gonna say anything to Lori but I uh, yeah yeah I really regret this then she painted it and it is um I don't know it's what she did I think for for my opinion, it is super. So, here is our hen mallard. And she is a little different than what everybody else. But it is straight up hen mallard. If you ask me, there is a lot of darks and colors. It's a little uh, lighter color than, than some of the other ones out there. But um, it is... I mean, I, I love it. Lori did an amazing job painting it. Again, the factory duplicated her paint job pretty good. It Same keel, deadly decoys um, on there. And you can see there is some different colorations in the feathers as we do them. And uh, as they go around and... This is actually a production model. All these three are. Uh, testing wise, we have, so when we test these things, these are, you know, the EVA plastic that is pliable. You know, it's pliable, holds, holds paint well. So we took our decoys and we put them on a uh, carabiner. And hook the hook the uh, the Texas rigs up to them, and we run them through their paces with every other. Uh, you know, you think the name brand, the big name brand. We bought those decoys, put them all together, and we tested them. Uh, run them through their paces. We tested paint adhesion. We tested how they hold up in cold. Um, we, you know, we did a lot of things. We uh, sunk them to make sure that they uh, didn't leak uh, the keel or the the body of the decoy. Um, so we went through a pretty extensive process. And our decoy holds up just as well as any of the other ones. There is paint adhesion. Every test that we did... 
ours were as good or better than what's currently out there and you think of a name major name we didn't get you know the smaller decoy companies because or you know what we just used the major ones um, but any of the major players we tested our decoys against theirs and they held up good so this is our hen mallard 